intrauterine contraceptive devices, in short, IUCDs are small devices that is inserted on your uterus to postpone or to space births. It is one of the temporary method used to avoid pregnancy, worldwide. It can be inserted any time during the cycle even during menstrual phase, that is, when you are bleeding which has certain advantages like open cervical canal, distended uterine cavity, less cramp. These devices may be medicated or non-medicated. Copper T380A, Multiload Copper 250, Multiload Copper 375, Levonorgestrel Intrauterine System, Progestacert, are few medicated intrauterine devices. Lippies Loop is, one of the non-medicated intrauterine device. Non-medicated one, are not usually used. Medicated one, are used popularly, based on individual's requirements. For example shelf life of different devices. Shelf life of copper T380A is 10 years. Multiload copper 250 is 3 years. Multiload copper 375 is 5 years. Next one is 5 years. There are many more, you can choose any one based on your choice. How it avoids pregnancy. Exact mechanism of antifertility effect of all the IUCDs is not yet clear. It is said that they act predominantly in the uterine cavity and do not inhibit ovulation. Probable factors are, copper devices prevent implantation of, conceived product, on endometrium by, inhibiting the enzymes that helps implantation. There may be increased tubal motility which prevents fertilization. Inflammation in the endometrium that decreases sperm transport and inhibits the ability of sperm to fertilize ovum. In short IUCDs prevent either fertilization or implantation by interfering with normal physiology of both process. Thus you can avoid pregnancy for certain period of time, based on shelf life of IUCD that has been inserted. Who are not supposed to insert IUCDs? Pregnancy or suspected pregnancy, undiagnosed genital tract bleeding. Presence of pelvic infection, current or within three months. Distortion of the shape of the uterine cavity, as in fibroid or congenital uterine malformation. Severe dysmenorrhea. Known or suspected uterine or cervical cancer. Postpartum or postabortal endometritis in last three months. Sexually transmitted infections, current or within three months, trophoblastic disease. Significant immunosuppression. Additionally for copper TR. Wilson disease and copper allergy. For levonorgestrel intrauterine system R, hepatic tumor or hepatocellular disease. Current breast cancer. Severe arterial disease. Method of insertion. History taking and examinations to exclude any contraindication of insertion. Patient is informed about the various problems, the device is shown to her and consent is obtained. The insertion is done in the outpatient department taking aseptic precautions without sedation or anesthesia. To reduce cramping pain nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug may be given 30 minutes before insertion. The patient empties her bladder and is placed in lithotomy position. Loaded inserter is taken out from the sealed packet. Without touching vaginal wall and speculum, speculum is a device used to dilate vagina, the loaded IUCD inserter, is introduced through cervical canal. The device is released by holding the inserter firmly in the position and pulling the slider back all the way. The threads are released automatically. The inserter is then removed slowly. The threads are then trimmed preserving 3 cm length outside the cervix. You can see the thread from outside and you can feel it. Sometimes the thread may not be visible, after few months of insertion, through the cervical os due to thread coiled inside, thread torn through, device expelled outside unnoticed by the patient, device perforated the uterine wall and is lying in the peritoneal cavity, device pulled up by the growing uterus in pregnancy. In that case it can be identified through ultrasonography and then removed outside. Instructions given to the patient, the possible symptoms of pain and slight vaginal bleeding is explained. Patient is advised to feel the thread periodically by the finger. The patient is checked after one month and then annually. Complications. Cramp-like pain usually lasts for up to one hour it is relieved by analgesic for antispasmodic drugs. Syncopal attack. Excessive menstrual bleeding. Pelvic inflammatory disease due to infection with chlamydia and rarely with actinomyces. Spontaneous expulsion of device. One in 1000 insertions, perforation of the uterus is seen. If a woman gets pregnant with devices in uterus, then it is advised to remove the device. This will minimize complications like miscarriage, preterm labor, sepsis, placenta previa, abruption, cesarean delivery, low birth weight baby, including malformations. Indications for removal of IUCDs are persistent excessive regular or irregular uterine bleeding, perforation of the uterus, partial expulsion of IUD pregnancy, with the device inside. If the woman wants to have baby, if she is unable to palpate or feel thread. When shelf life is over. 
To summarize, it is one of the popular temporary method to avoid pregnancy. There is, small percentage of failure rate. If you get pregnant, not to worry, contact your doctor and get it removed. If there is any complications, then this is not for you. Hope you got a brief idea about IUCD. If you like my contents please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you. See you in next video.